Alrighty, hey traders, uh, market had a bit of a down day today. So what does that mean in the marketplace? And uh, that's what we're gonna be covering around that today. Plus also gold, gold got hit pretty hard. As you guys know, maybe I was, I was also looking for a move to the upside, but we didn't actually get that. So that's what I wanna talk about today, guys. Don't place a trade based on what you'll see in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Uh, make sure you grab that trading course, that trading course on the screen right now. Make sure you grab access to that, guys. Free access to the trading course. First thing in the description. There's actually four phases to that. Phase number one is all about foundation, what goes into a good trader. Phase number two and three is about chart reading and advanced chart reading. And then phase number four is about my trading system. It's a free trading course, guys. Go get access to it, and um, I hope it helps you out there. So let's actually get into these markets right now. So obviously today we had a bit of, bit of a down day today, right? And the really big thing that we're noticing right now is that we're noticing that by, by looking at this screen here, okay? By looking at this screen, we are expecting to see that pullback that that we've been that I've been waiting for right and we, and we definitely do know we're going to get that pullback from here and so the this actually could be the start of that happening and we are we, we definitely are sort of slowing and what I mean by that is let me bring this up here so if look at this here like there's I'm always looking at the angles of everything right there's angles of markets so what do I mean what do I mean by that is that Whenever the market does this, if the, uh, there's a thing called slowing of markets, right? a slowing of markets. So what does that mean? We have a strong move up like that, and then we have a move, and, and then we, and if that that there, if this is this is a strong move up, right? So if that's strong, what happens if we start to do something like this? See how that's starting to slow down, right? And I call I call this the actual the roller coaster pattern because it's more like it goes up, 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 up. It starts to slow down, slow down, slow down, and then it starts to drop, you know, just, then it just starts to really, really, really drop off the cliff. Now, if I show you something here, this is this a really, I'll show you what I mean by this here, okay? Um, if I show you, um, uh, if I show you, oh, I wanna show you this, this chart here, because I think this is really, really, really interesting to, to show you about the roller coaster pattern, because it's really, it's something that I just see time and time and time and time again when it comes to the um, the markets here. So let me just show you this here. So this is the this is what I call the roller coaster pattern. All right. So this here, just bring it up for you guys. This here's the roller coaster pattern. Look at this here. See see what see what I mean here. Look at this here. So look at that, look what happened. It came straight up through here, and then what did we do? We actually started to slow down through there. And then we got a, then we got the roller coaster pattern. The roller coaster pattern here, guys, is pretty 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 powerful. Now I'm not expecting something like this to happen, right? I'm, I'm not expecting this whole thing to happen here. But as you can see, it's the roller coaster pattern because it goes up 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 strong, and then it starts to slow down, slow slow slow, and then we end up getting the drop, right? The, we we end up getting the drop. The roller coaster pattern full in effect through there. So. If we could see, once again, if we go back to this level through here, the roller coaster pattern is up, and then we've just been sort of just, we had a slight little sideways move, but this overall sort of move has sort of been like that, right? So it's been slowing down, and now we're getting this level through here. So I am expecting to see at least a five to 10% pullback out of these markets, guys, and I really do, I really do see that happening. Now, I, it's not gonna be, I don't believe we're gonna see, like, <laughs> if we see this pattern through here, right? See how this here, it actually starts from, a start wherever the, wherever the pattern starts, it actually comes back down to it. I'm not expecting that, right? Because if I see this through here, from that there to that there, I'm only expecting maybe like possibly down to three thousand three uh, thirty-five thousand five hundred thirty-five thirty-five thousand somewhere around about there, guys. That's what I'm expecting to see out of these markets from here. And so we can actually see that that through there, right? We can see that through there, and then we can see that that through there. So really getting, really starting to see that overall movement on the downside, guys. And I believe that this could be the start. In fact, if, let me go to the DIA. Yeah, there's a lot of volume in today, right? Look at this here, look at that volume today. It's a volume, massive volume spark today behind the good, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm behind the good inflation number, guys. <laughs> I'm laughing because, if you guys are trying to trade, if you if you guys if you are trying to trade 
the news. Like, oh, well, the unemployment or the inflation number went down. That's a good thing. Why did the stock market go down for, right? You see what, see, see that? If you try, if you're trying to put one on one together like that, you're always behind the curve, right? You're always behind the curve. That's why guys, whenever you are trade the markets, just use the charts. You can never use something like that, right? Like, you notice everything's backwards, right? Inflation number, good inflation number. It goes down, that's supposed to be a good thing. And the stock market goes down. Oh my goodness, why is that? Back, they were raising interest rates. Things were, things were coming to a stall. Things were slowing down. Um, and what ended up happening to the stock market? The stock market went for an incredible bull move. <laughs> so we can never, you can never really do that, right, guys? You can never really sort of hold on to that. You can never really have that. And that's where, guys, for me personally, I just look at the charts. Right? I look at the charts because the charts are really telling us a story. Like one of the patterns is the roller coaster pattern, right? So let's go look at, that's how I see the Dow Jones. Let's go look at the S&P 500. And the S&P 500 is doing what? We're doing this, we had this move up from here to here. And we've actually had still a quite a nice move up from there to there. We're not actually, the S&P 500 is not out of the woodworks yet, right? And the reason why is look at this here. If I bring this up, this is actually pretty, like, is it gonna be, this, is it gonna be the start of that big move down? Possibly, right, possibly. We have this overall sort of, that's that trend line through there, right? So if we do break this trend line overall, guys, we could start to see that move down. The problem with, the problem with uh, if you're trying to short this market, if you're trying to short this market, guys, then uh, it's probably really, really, really dangerous. Why? Because like trying to short this market right now in, um, in, a, in, a, in a result of... Um, yeah, so trying to short this market right now in a result of you thinking the market's going to go down, which I believe is going to go down, is very, very, very dangerous, right? Uh, generally around once a year, <laughs> this little brain, this little small brain of mine does that, right? I did that last year, by the way, guys. I'm just being completely honest with you. I'm trying to share with you NVIDIA, right? NVIDIA. When N NVIDIA, what did I do? When NVIDIA gapped up through here, I think it was around here somewhere, what did I do? I went short the market because I'm like, this market's going to go down. It's going to go down. Look, it's too high. Now, did we get the pullback? Yeah, we got the pullback. But what ended up happening? We just go sideways, right? That's what could actually happen in the markets. Instead of us actually getting a big drop, we just go sideways before we start to see, you know, she's bang, she's bang, she's bang to the upside, right? So that's what I'm seeing through there when it comes to the uh, to the S and P 500 guys. We we're really right at that level of support. Do we actually continue down here? We're probably we're probably likely to see some weakness, guys. Again, I'm I'm I see a lot of weakness coming in the first half of this year, and then I believe there's going to be amazing buying opportunities coming in the markets from there. Let's go look at the good old Nasdaq, and the Nasdaq guys. Again, like we had a down day, yes, but look where we at right. Look where we're at right now. All right. Once we actually start to break this line through there, that's that line through there. I'd have to say. Let's bring on the last three months with the data, last six months. Yeah, so that'll be the line through there, guys. We need to break this line here. We're definitely right at this level of support all through this level through here. John, <laughs> every time I say that, every time I say that, guys, it's like, every time I say here, right? This level here, this level here, this level here, right? This level right here. Whenever I say that, it brings back memories, guys. Last year, I did a video and someone said, John, can you tell us the number? What's the number? What is the number? Some people are feeding their cats. <laughs> guys, don't feed the cats when you're trading the markets, right? <laughs> leave, leave, leave the cat alone for a bit, all right? Just focus. All right, if you want to know the number, guys, it's basically where it is right now. 15,600, right? 15,600, where it is right now. Because you can see, look at this here, right? We had this move up, sideways, move up, higher low, higher low, a bit of a pullback, higher low. Is this just a bit of a high low before away we go again? That's that's what could possibly happen. I see weakness coming to the markets. No way I'm gonna be shorting it, right? So that's what I see through there, guys. Let's look at the YM, and the YM really just, look at this here now, guys. Really, really, really interesting, right? So we had this, I'd have to use a trend line down through there now, and I can definitely see that there's sort of a squeezing up pattern that's happening through there as well too. If I bring this low up through there, that'll be that low level through there, as you can see. So this is what this is what I'll be looking at here on the Russell. I'm still pretty bullish on the Russell, guys. I see Russell really having big moves. So uh, if we if we do start to see a bit of a break up above to, to this, now what the patterns to 
for me now anyway is that if we do start to see a big move up if we start to see a move back up towards above 205 then i believe we're likely to start to see this thing start to take place and start to take shape to the upside uh from there so that's what i'm looking at there guys when it comes to the good old um the good old russell from there let's go look at the nasdaq 100 and the same sort of thing right look at this here so very 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 strong upward trend very strong upward trend guys is this just a bounce before we continue up again or do we actually continue to see a lot more weakness coming out of this level from here so let's go look at the gold chart and look what happened with the gold guys look what happened with gold what happened with gold i was actually looking for a break out and above a break out and up with gold but we just didn't quite get that right i was looking for something like a break above that level there but we just didn't we just didn't quite get it right so i'm still a very big believer and i did a uh prediction a prediction 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 level uh video yesterday <laughs> uh and so again uh, and again my predictions is over for the next the next two years or where i see things going over the next two years short term ta guys uh it's actually not looking it's actually not looking too good here guys i looking at that that big large bar coming down there yeah so it's actually not looking there's a lot of weakness here on the on, in the gold market a lot of weakness in the gold market uh right now we're definitely breaking and look at this here so we broke we broke this level through here now here's where it gets really really cool guys he gets let, let me let me go let me go a bit, bit advanced on you here okay so the one thing i like to use this is the daily chart here okay so this is the daily chart and the market's breaking down slightly through there if we go to the weekly charts here what do we still see we still see what a strong move up and an overall pullback okay so this actually could just be a bit of a pullback before what before we start to see ricochet rabbit to the upside ricochet rabbit to the upside right so we could actually start to see that so the ricochet rabbit to the upside we can actually see what's going on there so the thing that i'm noticing here is that if this is just going to be a bit of a pullback guys before we start to see like if it's going to be like we do have a bit of a trend line coming up through there eh, maybe all right but look at this here let's actually look at let's actually let's actually look at the if scenarios here okay the if scenarios let's actually bring up here resume it right in for a bit what happens if this is a bit of a fake out and we start to get something like this and then we get something like that do you know what that is guys that is now this is this is what's called a this is what's called a potential slingshot pattern now i'm not calling for the pattern guys again we wait for the pattern then we can say okay there's a probability of this happening right so the sling shot pattern in the markets so that's what could be forming right now in gold so over the next week this is going to be really 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 a strong defining area in the markets to see what actually happens with gold does gold hold here and if it does hold here and we start to reverse like this right and then we get and this that that support level through there and we start to get back above it so we start to get back above it through here and then we have a very strong breakout through there you know what that is traders aha slingshot this is like a bit of a mock charge in the market let's go look at silver silver in the marketplace so silver okay so short term silver guys uh short term silver very 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 weak on the downside of course we've got that level coming through there and then we have this level all through here as well too so that's that level through there not really much going on there is there but we've got if that, that'll be they have to use that high now from that point there that point there very 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 weak right very weak silver's very weak on this level through here and so if we break this oh wow look at that guys so if we break if silver breaks here then it looks like that we may even get a move back down towards that level there what's that alley chart look like oh private clients look at that small bars oh geez anyway private clients you, you see what you see that if you try if you want to know what i'm talking about there guys get, get that free trading course link in the description there and in phase number four i teach you about the trading system and you'll be able to start to see i'm not going to go into detail here but you'll be able to start to see the the pullback with small bars and a bar that stands out and stuff like that you'll be able to see all the details to my trading system i teach you for free guys so go get it for free first that that link in the description there um so we can see it through there if we break this 22 level here then we could be getting ready for what's that there silver could be getting ready for a five or five or so percent drop to the downside now the really interesting thing is if i squeeze my charts up that also oh look at that that also goes inside of this level here so this level through there 
and this level through here. Wow, really interesting, right? So the silver could be getting ready for a drop to the downside. Hmm. Is gold potentially getting ready for a bit of a mock charge to the upside? Potentially, right? Here's the different patterns I'm looking for. Silver, silver's not giving me any probability for trading opportunity, guys. So there's no, there's no probability. Like if we do break this level here, we're probably gonna have a move down towards this level there. But if we go look at gold once again, right? Look at gold. What am I looking for? Potentially, if we get something like that once again, guys, then I do I say we're probably likely to start to see a move down. Now, there's no guarantees that if I go if I go look at my GLD price. Yeah, so I'm looking at the GLD price, and the reason I'm looking at the GLD, GLD price because I'm trying to see the volume. Today was a lot of strong volume here, so we, if gold does hold here, so that, that's if we go back to the gold chart now. If gold does hold here, that that will actually be quite nice um, in the, in the markets here. Let's go look at the mining sector. In the mining sector, guys, if you've actually been watching my market updates, I've been saying that the mining sector has been quite weak in these markets, very, very, very weak. And so we can actually see that, what do we have through here? We have actually a, a downward trend, right? So we have a very strong downward trend through here. And the really interesting thing is, look at this here. Look at this here, right? So it just came down, lower low, came straight up, and then now we had this move to the downside from there, right? So you can see that through there, right? See how we've got this very strong, uh, this, this sort of pullback here, um, and, then the, and then the market actually dropped to the downside. Um, GDXJ, uh, sorry, yeah, the GDXJ, same sort of thing, guys. Very, we've got a very, 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 very weak scenario going on through here. So this is that, that's, that's that real short term. Let me, let me, let me try again on my platform. <laughs> try again, All right? So that's that very short term weakness on the downside. It's very, very weird, guys, right? Because we're still potentially getting that bit of a slingshot pattern, potentially, in gold. Is that going to come? If it does, oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, hey, traders, over here, hey, hey, hey. All right, that's if it does, guys, if it does, all right? If you guys know, if I'm going to go back to this gold market, I've been saying, I've been looking for the breakout first before we potentially see an upside. I haven't been saying, people People think, think oh, John said gold's going to go up. I know I'm going to get some bubble bees jump up saying, oh, John, God went down. I'm like, yes, yeah, so? I didn't, I didn't say I was definitely going to go up. Mate. I'm saying if we do get the breakout, that could be confirmation that we could, could start to see some more, more movement to the upside. And the silver mining sector, guys, is completely falling off the cliff. SIL and the SILJ are through there as well, too. So we're really getting a bit of a, bit of a strong, strong, strong selling period, guys, when it comes to these markets here. Let's go look at the TLT market here. What, the big market that I'm watching for, guys, is obviously the TLT market. So I would have to say, I'd have to put my trend line down through there somewhere. And the reason why I'm having that trend line down there is because if this if this is going to hold here, if we do start to hold here and start to rally back out, then I would want to start to see this thing start to rally back above this level through here for, for us to start to look for, look for some opportunities in the marketplace. So... Anyway, traders, that is it for me today. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll speak to you real soon.